So this morning we're out here with Patillo. We are in Newburgh, New York, about an hour and a half north of Manhattan. And this is my first time in New York proper. I've actually never been to New York. I've only been to Manhattan before. Manhattan's not really my cup of tea. This is much better. Um, they're building a, this is a commercial project. So it's for potentially a large e-commerce client, for example. And uh, they're taking these rock hills and turning it into two large, large building pads for warehouses. Patillo is really good at moving a lot of material very, very quickly. This is about a million yard job. 700,000 of it is rock, 300,000 of it is topsoil, dirt, that kind of thing. Uh, a lot of drill and blasts. They should be blasting today. They just did a 30,000 yard shot yesterday, which is a big shot. And it sounds like a lot of blasting, but the spread behind me, the three 90 plus ton machines, there's two 390s, one 395, moves about 25,000 yards a day. They're taking uh, the rock from up here where they're shooting 25,000 yards a day, loading it into articulated trucks, and they have a few 773 rigid frames. They're hauling that material down to a crushing spread or they're building out the pad, but they're hauling a lot of it down to the crushing spread right now to crush it into base rock to keep on site to cap the building pad and to cap the roads that they're putting in as well. Blasting. Every hole has three different things in it. It has the primary explosive, which is either emulsion or ANFO. It has the high explosive, the booster, which is that, that Coke can sitting in there. And then it'll have the detonator with the delay tied to it. So the delay sets the detonator off, which sets the booster off, which sets the primary explosive off, which does the, the bulk of the work with the blasting. What these guys behind us are doing are once the hole is loaded, they'll put this rock from the top of the explosive to the top of the hole, and that's called stemming. It's called stemming. I used to do blasting, I'm an expert. So these guys are stemming each hole, and what the stemming does is it puts weight on top of the explosive, which keeps the energy from the blast, from the explosive, within the rock, fracturing the rock, rather than shooting out and, and letting that energy escape. So that was just a, a garbage explanation as far as what's going on here from a blasting standpoint, but that's what's going on here from a blasting standpoint. So once all these holes are stemmed, once, all, once they're all loaded, they're stemmed, they'll all be tied together. So it'll all end up in one spot. And then they'll take this, this deck cord and trail it all out to a safe spot and they'll set it off. Typically, this looks like just old school, traditional, type debt cord so they'll set it off with like a it's like a cap shotgun shell just high energy sets the whole thing off and this will be another 20 to 30 thousand yard blast we're hoping to see it it'll be at about lunchtime so we'll see It's, it's really cool. I don't know if I've ever seen three 90 plus ton excavators side by side by side like this, but 
that's Patillo's MO. They come in, they blow and go, they get out onto the next one. So I'm excited to see what they got going. It's just cool. It's just cool. So we were just checking out their crushing spread. Traditionally speaking, you would need to haul in all the crushed rock that you would need for the building pad, for the roads, everything like that on site that you're constructing. The nice thing about this site is they're moving 700,000 yards of rock and they have extra rock there. So rather than hauling that rock off for burying it and then hauling a bunch of crushed rock in, they could just bring in this crushing spread on site and crush all the rock they need without hauling anything on and off site. Which, this uh, crushing spread like this is a big capital expense, but this is, if you can afford to do this, like company like Patillo Cam, this makes it way cheaper for the customer because you don't have all of those hauling costs for material, you're not buying material. All the crushed rock, all the rock you need is right on site. You throw it through a crusher, you throw it through a screen deck, you stack it up and use it whenever you need to use it. I can explain better now because I'm not so old. 